Hi, everybody. Welcome to Stop Being Sold, a community of informed consumers who are sick and tired of being sold financial products that they don't understand or need. So if you're tired of being a transaction, make sure to hit that subscribe button uh, so you never miss another video from us. My name is Michelle, and this is Brian. Hey, Brian. Hey, how everyone. you doing? Hey, Michelle. All right, so today we are talking about the 2020, 2022 Social Security updates that were just announced yesterday, October 13th. We've had a few videos. We just did one yesterday specifically on the uh, cost of living adjustment or the COLA uh, for 2022. So if you haven't seen that, make sure to check it out. Um, so Brian, before we dive in uh, to you know what's on this back sheet, what's going on, what are these, what are what's the overarching updates? Uh, I'm just going to really recap the. Might as well recap the uh, video we did yesterday with the cost of living adjustments for 2022, and that went up by 5.9 percent yes. for Social Security ben beneficiaries. So that's a it's a it's a big jump compared to what we've seen um, from other years, right? And I mean, the biggest it, since uh, 1982. Yeah. Right, right. So 5.9 percent um, is is the new number. So that being said. Uh, Real quick, we do have this Social Security fact sheet below this video. So if you want to just scroll down, you can, you know, open up that PDF, um, download it, print it, do whatever you need to do. So it's there for you as a resource. So Brian, you want to take us through what else is in this uh, this fact sheet and what people can expect from 2022 updates. Yeah, um, let's see. Like you said, Michelle, the big thing was the big announcement of the 5.9 increase in cost of living adjustments for 2022. Again, almost 40 years, um, four decades, the highest increase we've seen. So, well, you know, uh, and it's interesting. It's also so needed because, you know, what we're seeing with inflation. <laughs> I mean, well, and that's, um, uh, I was watching some of the comments that came through on the video yesterday mm -hmm. uh, from consumers were, yeah, they that's want more. nice. Yeah. Inflation already ate it anyways. Inflation's up 20%. What's 5.9%? Uh, another one I seen was, um, you know, yeah, it's great, but what did my Medicare go up? You know? well, and that hasn't been announced yet. Yeah. So that'll be right because Medicare does come directly out of those Social Security checks. Well, so thank you for that one, that, that's coming soon. We're on the watch for it. So yeah. All right. So what else? Do we, what else do we have in here? Okay. So one thing that didn't change uh, between last year and this year was your tax rate, and the tax rate of seven point six five percent is what comes out of your paycheck, um, whether you get paid weekly, half right for employees. Yeah. Whatever. So as an employee, 7.65% of your earnings, and uh, that's broken down, 6.2% is your cost, your Social Security portion, mm -hmm. and 1.45% goes towards Medicare. So that number did not change. It's still at 765 for this year. So when that comes out of your paycheck, Michelle, Michelle, what also happens is the employer matches that for a total of 15.3% out of every paycheck goes into either social security which, or Medicare. Which if you're self, if you're self-employed, that's what you'll pay. So 15. You're point. exactly right. So if you're self-employed, you're paying the 15.3%. So. And that hasn't changed. That did not change for this year. Um, also what did change though is your maximum earnings that is taxable. And so what I mean by that, uh, Michelle, Let's say you make $200,000 a year at your job today. Okay. Okay. And your social security portion, the maximum taxable portion of it for the social security side of it is only 147,000. So there's 53,000 between that and the 200,000 that is not taxed by social security. So, so okay. Okay, keep going, keep going. Yeah, and, and same thing, but with Medicare, there's no limit. So Medicare taxes the whole amount. It doesn't matter how much you... Right, and so talk to us, let's back it up a bit. What are the changes from last year to this year? Um, it went up... Uh, uh, so this is, for this is for maximum taxable earnings. Yeah, maximum taxable earnings went from 142800 up to 147000 okay. So okay. it went up a little bit. But, um, okay, so if... Congress, and look, we, we know from our recent videos that Social Security is running out of money. We know. Right, okay. right. Pandemic increased that, 
okay, uh, took a year away from this. So if I'm in Congress and I want to fix Social Security, even just by tweaking the number a little bit, this is the first place that I would go to. Right. Increase that. To, yeah. So why would Medicare have no limit on the amount and Social Security portion is only 147000 What about right. all the people above that amount? Who that aren't, don't, yeah. That pay no Social Security tax above that, but right. they receive maximum earnings. So it, it, it's it's a scenario that needs to be fixed and hopefully it gets fixed soon, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe we wait to the last minute for I was just going to say, it'll be fixed on six months before we... knows it. They make a big deal about it on CNBC, and then all of a sudden, the market mm-hmm. goes down because everybody says, oh my gosh, we're at the last minute. No, yeah, but they always pass it. Right. They always get something done. So, right. but anyways, um, uh, next thing. Okay, so uh, this is big for those that are under full retirement age. So let's say uh, widow's benefits starts for most at the age of 60 Mm -hmm. and early social security for most people start at age 62. Right. So if you're under full retirement age, so like, I think mine is like 67 years and like five months. Okay. So if I'm under full retirement age, the most money that I can make and still collect social security is $19,560 in a year. What was it last year? So that's this year. What was that's it last year? Last year was 18960 So it went up $600, basically. Wow. Okay. okay. But here's the, here's, the, here's the big point of this is let's say I make $40,000 a year and I'm still working because I can't live off of $19,000 a year of Social Security benefits, right? Right, right. So um, I make $40,000. Now, all of a sudden... There's an $11,000 difference there. Well, Social Security is saying for $1 in benefits, they will withhold from your check for every $2 you earn above that limitation. So in that scenario, if I make $40,000, there's $11,000 difference roughly there. They're right. going to withhold over $5,000 of my benefits back right. from me because I'm making too much money according to this. So okay. It's, um, it's, and, and not just so that's that's the, okay. I get it. So let's let me just recap. Mm-hmm. Your your work. You're not at full retirement age yet. You're still working, right? You're you're you you you're receiving like let's say widow benefits, right? Or or you know yeah. Or, let's just early social security benefits. Or early social security or early social security. You cannot go over that nineteen thousand. What is that? I've got here nineteen thousand five hundred and sixty. If you do, social security will withhold. Every, for every $2 you go over, they will hold a dollar. A dollar. Got it. All right. Okay. And that's that's pretty important when I'm sitting down having a conversation with someone that says, hey, yeah. Brian, I'm ready to retire. I, I want to retire at 62. Okay, great. And then we run a social security analysis for them. And usually after that analysis is run, they're like, yeah, this ain't going to work for me. This, you yeah. know, what am I going to do here? So. Um, so think about that really hard. And that's this this is one of the big questions they ask and consumers are waiting for this statement to come out of these benefits. Right. Um, and if you're just turning it, if you're just tuning in or if you missed it before, we do have this social security fact sheet that covers all these changes for 2022 and it's in uh, below the video. Just download that PDF, print it out, put it up, do what you need to do. Yeah, I, and that's a, uh, Michelle, that's a great point because um, if you're just tuning in right now, Grab that first, and then yeah, go and then go right. Yeah, but yeah. You're gonna see me go line item per line item here. So, um, let's go one step further, Michelle. On the same topic, let's say you're ready to retire this year. Okay. okay. And um, you're okay. So let's take me for example. My birthday's in January. Well, it's January 11th. I doubt I'm gonna make fifty thousand or $51,960 from January 1st to January 11th, right? Right. Okay. So this probably won't affect me, but somebody's birthday that's in September. September. Yeah. yeah just September, October, November, December, yeah, right? Like right now, if 
the earnings limit right now is $51,960. And that went up, um, looks like $1,440 over last year's number. So if you've made $51,960 or over that, for every dollar you go over that in earnings for that year that you're going to collect your benefits, they will withhold $3 in earnings. Yeah, you got to. So, this is the importance of planning, social security planning right here. It, it is. And so I had a client um, uh, a few years back uh, had the, in this scenario. Uh, they came in and I said, oh, I'm at 80s. I think it was the mid 80s at that time. And their um, benefits were going to be like $2,500 a month. Their birthday right. was the latter part of the year. So $2,500 a month is $7,500 for October, November, and December. That's what they were to receive. Well, they were, you know, $30,000 over this limit. Right. So $1 withheld for every $3 over that, they would have lost $10,000. Well, right. the three-month payment was only $7,500. So they would have lost them three months completely. Right. Right. So I said, look, guys, there's no benefit for you to retire until January 1. So they went ahead and filled out their paperwork to retire. Right. To January. retire January. Exactly. Because exactly. they would have exactly. just lost the money anyways. Yes, absolutely. And all this, all this that we're going over right now is under the, in, in the, in the cheat sheet or the fact sheet, I should say, it's under the retirement earnings ta um, uh, tax exempt, test, test exempt amounts. Correct. Is that right? Yes. I can't read. Yes. And so that's, that's, that's the big one. And I'll tell you where this really comes into play. Um, I actually went to Social Security court, a hearing with a client years and years ago that was a widow. And is, it was the fact that all of a sudden she got this letter from Social Security. Um, we're withholding all your benefits because you owe us like $15,000. Wow. And I, she wasn't my client previously. Right. But if she was after this. Um, and so if she would have been, we would have hit these numbers before she retired or right. widow benefits. Well, anyways, Social Security literally stops all payments until all that money comes back. Whoa. So it's not like, oh, you're on a payment program. No, she owed all that money and they withheld all her payments. So she would she was going to lose like nine or 10 months of payments. Right. That she needed after losing her husband. So um, by going to the court, we asked for leniency because she didn't know. Mm -hmm. And unless you. Don't ask if you don't ask for it, you don't get it, right? Right, right, right. Well, no, for sure. So after doing the research, we was able to get her on a payment program. Yeah, but she's still thirty six. Damage is done. They divide. Yeah, but the damage, damage is done at that point, right? Sure. Yeah. So you got to do what you can do. They're going to take it no matter what. So, oh, yeah. but we was able to fix that portion of it. So you have to know this stuff, and yeah. that's why this sheet coming out every year. And trust me, every. Every year, if you stay tuned to this channel, you will see us hit this every October, about the middle of October is where we're going to hit the sheet because it's that important to your retirement planning process. So, right. So. All right. So what else? Let's um, what else is in here? OK, so we got, got some Social Security disability thresholds and a few yeah, other some thresholds for uh, Social Security disability as far as how much gainful, substantial gainful activity is what's called mm -hmm. um, that you're allowed to make this, that, and the other. It went for, it did, there wasn't a big movement here from 1300 to 1310 to 1350 a month for non-blind. If you're blind, 2190 to 2260 a month. And if you're um, in a trial work period, TWP mm -hmm. is what they call it, 940 to 9970. So there's only like $30 a month difference there, but it did go up some. Okay. So also in here is uh, maximum. Okay, so this is one question I get all the time, Michelle, is what's the maximum I can make on Social Security? Right. Well, here it is. Last year, it was if you were retiring at full retirement age, so if I'm like me, 67 and five months, right. Right. the maximum I can earn last year was $3,148 per month. Okay. This year is $3,345 a month. So that's a pretty big jump there for this year. So. Okay. 
Now, uh, a few other things, uh, the SSI, the federal payment standard for individual went from 794 to 841. Uh, for a couple went from $1,191 a month to $1,261 a month. Um, SSI resource limits, and, and make sure you download this. It, this don't affect a lot of people, but it may affect you personally. So when you download this, you will understand what each one of these are. If yeah, you're just on, video, in the video below, there's a link to the PDF. You got it. You got it. So uh, SSI resource limits for an individual uh, and couple was 2000 and 3000 last year. It stayed the same for this year, 2000 and 3000 for 2022. So okay. um, you also have SSI student exclusion. Those of you there on this understand what this is. Monthly limit went from $1,930 to $2,040. And the annual limit went from $7,770 to $8,230. So, okay. Now, last so what about estimated monthly Social Security benefits? Yeah, so um, this another good question that we get all the time is, okay, what's the average person retiring yeah. today collect from Social Security benefits? Well, here it is. Here's the numbers. Uh, before the 5.9% cost of living adjustment, the average retired worker in the United States last year was, or for 2021, was $1,565. That's monthly. That's monthly. monthly. <laughs> and then, yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yearly, right? <laughs> so anyways, after the 5.9% cost of living adjustment, $1,657 a month in 2022 will be the average of all retired workers in the United States. Now, Let's take an average couple, both receiving benefits. Last year, oh, well, for 2021, was $2,599 a month, the average, and then $2,753 a month after the cost of living adjustments for next year for 2023 or 2022. Okay. Um, here's a big one. A widowed mother and two children, as an example. Last year, before the cost of living adjustment, they were earning $3,009 a month on average. For 2022, $3,187 a month. It's not a big jump to me, in my opinion, for a widowed mother and two children. Yeah, maybe. For well, family. yeah, you multiply, that, you multiply that by 12. Yeah, so I mean. Every little bit helps. <laughs> every little bit helps. I agree, $178 extra a month. Yeah. I pay utility bills, but. Like um, the one comment on the video from yesterday was inflation's up 20%. So, you know, or, or maybe greater by next year. So, right. uh, so the last is uh, disabled worker, spouse, and one or more children. Uh, the numbers went from 2250 a month last year for 2021 up to 2383 for average for next year. And for all disabled workers, uh, the average was 1282 a month in 2021. And the average will be 1358 in 2022. Okay. Well, if you've enjoyed this video, here's what we'd like you to do. We'd like you to like it, please, so that you know it helps it helps other people like you find videos like this. Uh, and also subscribe to our channel. We don't just talk about social security, we talk about what re Brian retirement tips, annuities, you know, the difference between you know, rollovers, you know, you name it. Um, pen insurance, life insurance, any sort of financial product um, we are, we're trying to cover in and give you, the consumer, as much information as possible so that you can make better decisions about your financial future and you stop being a transaction, which I think is so important. So Brian, um, thanks so much. Appreciate it. And like we said, be PDFs below in this video. If you want to go see our video yesterday on the 2022 COLA uh, changes specifically to that. Um, you can find it on our channel. And that's it. Thanks, everybody. And thank you, Brian. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.